Hello all, this is Eastwick, and I am in Space Engineers. In, as you can tell, a setting for the survival series. Uh, I've got a couple mods on here that I probably should have taken off because anytime you're flying it gets really laggy. It's got the uh, speed, uh, atmospheric speed mod, so you fly faster. But anyway, I'm in creative mode at the moment, and um, my reason for doing this today is, well, tomorrow, or today, Ashes of the Singularity comes out on, of early access, the campaign is open, all that, and I was going to take a look at that on Friday, instead of Impossible Creatures. Um, so, also it's the end of the month, and I'm running short on data cap for um, my internet, and I really don't want to pay the extra money for breaking that, so this is going to actually be fairly short. So what I'm actually going to be doing, and what you probably can tell from the, uh, uh, come on, okay, control V, oh god, damn it, damn, 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 damn. I swear I turned that on. Okay, well. It's the main menu. No. Anyway, well, I'm going. And edit. Advance. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Enable copy and paste. Well, I might as well show some of the mods that I'm using. Because I'm going in to get rid of the one that's causing all the lag. Uh, I've actually taken off a couple of these and added some others, um, but most of the uh, ones added were added for um, one of the new series. No, that's staying. Uh, da, 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 da. This. It's real nice, but it causes a lot of lag. Okay, okay. Load. And as you can tell, I spelled world without an R. Anyway, uh, something that uh, I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm bringing back the Building a Legend series, continuing with the Dreadnought. Nobody's really given me a suggestion for another ship to build in the Building a Legend series. But recently, a turbo laser turret arrived on the Space Engineers Workshop. And that's exactly what I needed to finish off the... To actually arm the exterior of the thing. The interior... Eh, I'm still having issues finding the drive to actually finish the full thing. It's so big. Even the bottom floor is just so freaking massive that I... I'm not sure if I'll find the drive to finish it. The exterior looks beautiful. I love it. Um, and I'll have the exterior finished shortly once I get that mod on there. But the interior, oh my lord, that ship is huge. And it's actually fairly easy to build the in, the exterior. The interior, oh god. Um, just how massive it is. And trying to build all the bits and pieces of it. Anyway, we're back here. Let me out. Okay. Uh, Control-V? Okay. Now, I was... My original intention was to show off the ship. Now, the ship, as you can tell, just by looking at it, is... Fairly... I think it's a fairly nice ship. Um, come on. Yeah, space engineers. Okay, come on. Uh, rotate. Rotate a little slower, please. Nose up. Okay, well, hope you don't pummel into the ground. Uh, he pummeled into the ground. Anyway, uh, I lost a bit. Uh, this, oh god, this really did crunch. Anyway, as you can tell looking at it, and I probably should have gone into orbit, but um, the ship looks, well, my basic design idea from it was... Uh, the Courier, the Old Republic Courier from the first 
of the new Star Wars movies. Then you have the lights. And go up in here. The cryo bays. Uh, you had pods. You would have your names attached to the pods. Um, I was actually fairly happy with a bunch of this. Let's see, which one are you? You close the door. You turn the lights on. And you can get into the front from there fly it. It has very little um, maneuvering in the atmosphere because it's all hydrogen for in the atmosphere and it doesn't have that much of it. Most of the hydrogen as you can see actually it looks like all the hydrogen is placed behind the ship. It's got a lot of lights and the idea was that this ship would cr you'd have a flight of them like f five six seven of them that would be sent out from a location they'd fly in a group kind of b17 idea with the gatling guns as defense um they'd all be automated uh you only had the cockpit on there for after arrival and before leaving and you had a few ion thrusters mostly for maneuvering and things like that uh, slight maneuvering uh, you had all the lights it does not have a reactor it has two batteries and then six of the solar panels six or eight eight Okay, yeah, that one lost two. Eight solar panels. Has the cockpit on it. And I love the front end of this. I really like the way that turned out. Um, and you had this for life support. So it was designed for minimum power use. You'd have the flight linked to each other with the, uh, the laser antennas flying in formation and they get up speed and drift this would be pre jump drive and they get here and they meet a ship in orbit they get to the Scion colony get uh, meet a ship or station in orbit and disembark um, these things would be torn down and the supplies would be used to uh, give the crew something to use to build their their facilities once they got to the planet what they'd need for um, well pretty much anything the other idea was that these three storage pods would have a little bit of supplies in them, and mostly ice, mostly ice. They'd be crammed the rim with ice, so that they'd have plenty of hydrogen. And then all of the cargo that the ship would have would be in these. Now, not much of that got role-played in the uh, Survivor series because... I mean, I didn't want to give myself too much stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's... I also like the way I did the lights. The, the, there's a lot of the little bits that I like about this. Um, uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to put the uh, cryotransport up on the workshop, because I will. Um, I've got a couple other things that I have for later that I may offer to put up on the workshop as well. Um, I may even go ahead and prep the basic world that you're, where you pop out in the, in the ship. And everything else is scattered around the area as is, uh, in the, uh, uh blah, in the, the world that we have. Um, another thing that I discovered, and 
in... Honestly, in the next episode, you may... It's almost painfully obvious, but I kind of just went with it. This world, this... It has a slight issue that I discovered. It's beautiful, and it's different from all the other worlds. In that, the only two resources I have found by circumnavigating this planet with a large ship with the a boosted resource scanner is ice and stone. So, I mean, I flew all over it. This is the Erica planet. I'm not sure if it's an issue with the planet or an issue with one of the mods that I'm using and the two of them don't play nice. So, um, I may go in and do my, when I do the posting of this world, if people want it. I will probably go in and do a amalgamation of the current world that I have set up where I went in and edited and scattered some resources around so it's interesting and there's goals to do instead of grind down re-weld, grind down re-weld. There's a reason to actually make things and we have limitations and things based on resources. But that is the only bonus I have given, or not bonus, but aid I have given uh, us on the planet. Um, everything else is as is. Um, that is, well, if you played the game, you know what that is. Um, so... Uh, that's kind of what I have for you. It's kind of slapdash, but that's because I need to kind of keep it short. Um, so, let me know if, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you'd like anything that you have seen or possibly seen in the future in this world put on Workshop. And if there's anything that we have built or will be building in the future that you would like me to do a real quick spotlight on. Um, so, uh, like I said, the, this thing it doesn't fly very well. Even space, it flies horrid. It looks really good, though, in my opinion. Um, it looks even better when it's not wrecked. Uh, well, you know, here. Let's, let's turn this so we can get a good look at the front end. There we go. No, no, no. You know, get this place. Wee. I'm also using a nice skybox. All right. Okay, control shift space. F6. All right. Are we in a gravity well? Uh, only slightly. Okay. It rolls pretty good. As you can see. It accelerates re reasonably well with the three thrusters. But... And it's... It's pretty much... The... Th <laughs> You're only thrust behind. Everything else is maneuvering. If you want to stop, your best way is turn the butt around and point it in the other direction. Because you're not stopping otherwise. Hey. Look at, look at that. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. I mean, we're, we're stopping, but it's kind of a joke. Um, Got a lot of Gatling guns on it. And the door is open. But, overall, I like it. Ah, damn it. Alt-tab. Alt-tab is evil. Alt-tab is evil. Okay, I am still recording. <laughs> but yes. Um. So, like I said, 
Anything interesting you'd like me to take a look at that I've built, going to build, uh, anything you've seen on my... What the hell? What hit me? I'm not the only one that saw that, right? Something hit us, right? I got, I could have sworn I got hit by something. Okay, then. Sure. Why not? I didn't see anything break loose. Hmm. Yay. Well, let's roll to... The only downside that I figured from this was to get power to up here that gets no light that's the one flaw with the des ship design that I have seen for what it was intended for but from the art I liked it I'd just call it cryotransport if anybody else has a better name for it uh, go ahead, let me know in the comments. Um, oh. Okay. I wonder if that... Why well, that's decided to happen. Hmm. Goodbye. It's still green. Are we still docked to it or something? No, we are no longer docked. Wow. So that just happened. Yay. <laughs> oh, I bet that was the explosion we heard earlier. Something went boom there. Anyway. Um, like I said, I hope you'd enjoy this. Um... If you did, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. I'd love to hear comments uh, in the area below. And I will see you tomorrow in Acts of the Singularity. Until then, bye bye